Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Bulldogs have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus, patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Mississippi. We're in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And now let's head down to the coin toss. Brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Mississippi State is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. Mitchell from the four and down he goes at the 23 you know Herbie for an offensive coordinator he's got to love this kid Drew's decision making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played really. well defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable if you allow him to scan the field he'll simply pick you apart if you can disrupt his rhythm it'll give you a chance at least shutting him down he airs it out he's got it Tackle right around the 32-yard line. LSU's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinator. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. Williams gets the carry. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. He's at the 20, and he is drilled at the 18. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. From the 18-yard line, it's first down. him out just outside the goal line so they go on the ground and pick up another first down they are stringing together a nice little drive here if they keep this up it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone knocking on the door here is first and goal inside the five about a yard to pater touchdown tigers Short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. And he converts the extra point. 
So that's a six play 78 yard drive and they put up seven points. Boy this offense right now is just being physical really controlling the line of scrimmage and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Morgan from the six and he's taken down at the 27. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Tackle made at about the 41. That's good for him. Not over here. Not over here. First down. Not over here. They make the stop at the 42. That makes it second and ten. Slings it. That's a deal. Chucks it downfield. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. I thought they did a good job of reading the play and positioning themselves well to break up the pass. Vini awaits the snap. Out of bounds with the 26 yard line. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Nice run, and he's brought down. Williams picks up five with the carry. That brings him second and five. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. LSU is up by a touchdown. Looking for his man, incomplete. And the wideout couldn't drag a foot. Yeah, but he showed really nice hands on that play. Brad, do you imagine being the offensive coordinator right now? Your quarterback is out of sync. He's not making the throws. Now you're facing a pivotal fourth down, and you've got a quarterback in an offense that's struggling. What are you going to do? Browning is the punter. He's to the 40. Tackle made at the 47. The Tigers really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. taken down at about the 37 yard line what a play boy a solid job there by the quarterback recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver they'll go brown makes it out to about the 26. the reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. Tackled after decent pickup. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. He's going to try and scramble. From the 21-yard line, third down. Throws complete. He's got space to work, and he hits him hard at the 11. Jackson brings him down at the 11-yard line. 
First down. Larry, Larry. Get it up. Keep the seven to the mic. Mark with the seven. Whoa, move. Tackled for a loss. When this guy gets his arms around a ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. And he's taken down at the 14-yard line. throw incomplete one of his receiver the receiver couldn't get to that ball and that was a crucial misfire too as he could have come away with a touchdown it's fourth down they'll line it up for the field goal the kick is up and it splits the uprights here's an update from the studio and restated guns up texas tech doing battle in love the Red Raiders' defense is frothing at the mouth after the pick six. The Red Raiders are out front, 7-0. 7-3 in this one. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's taken down at the 30. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. LSU is up by four. Makes it out to about the 39. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. LSU leads it 7-3. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Let's go. Here he goes. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 49. Man can't tack on any yardage. That brings him second and five. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Mike 50, Mike 50. Ready. One, check, check. Not yet. Brought down right around the 34. the 34-yard line. First down. Gets out to about the 31. That's good for gaining three yards. That'll make it second and seven. It, but he can't shake the defense. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. LSU holds a four-point lead. And they got him. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback, and he did that job very, very well on that play. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Throws it and oh, he dropped it. 
So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. And he's leveled at the 30-yard line. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over the sideline after the series. Make sure everybody's on the same page and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. Going deep, lays it out there. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. LSU is up for it. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 42. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Got a man in and out of his hands. That makes it second and 10. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick pass. They'll bring him down around the 17-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. They come out on an empty backfield. Here we go. Caught with room to work. Knocked out of bounds around the seven-yard line. LSU is up by four. Ready. And now the ball is loose. They fall on it. Dives, and he's down. A lot of guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks, and the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. He gets hit out of bounds at the 24. That makes it first and 10. We're at the one minute mark, first half. Go 
He scrambles. They bring him down. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. four-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Here's third and 11. Ball on their own 24. Tackle the 25-yard line. Not much on that try. They'll face a fourth and long. No one on the defensive side of the ball was fooled that time, Brad. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Mitchell fields it at the 42. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Here comes the offense. No doubt looking to take better care of the ball on this drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. He heaves it deep. the PAT. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Wolfpack of NC State and the Clemson Tigers square off in the textile bowl. And for Clemson, we might have an upset percolating in this one. The Wolfpack lead 10-0. I don't expect that that score is going to hold, but boy, that would be an upset. Well, we've played a half of football. LSU's in front by 11. Guys, second half action just about ready to start here. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. Flipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's into the open field. He's brought down in the open field. That's good for being in the First down. They go to the ground game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. McLean gets six yards on the carry. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of four. First down. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From their own 36 yard line. Second down. They bring the quarterback down. 
Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive linemen and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. the long yardage and now they'll have to punt the defense held their ground on that play the quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers Beanie awaits the snap and down he goes at the 38 We're about set to start things up again. Down. There's a strike complete. He's down. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Make the stop around the 48-yard line. out to about the 45-yard line. That's a team of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. Tackle made right around the 28-yard line. the 27-yard line. That'll make it third and one. Third down again. Makes it to the 11. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. They're back in the red zone after fumbling on their last visit. Nice run, and he's brought down. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the five-yard line. Taken down right around the six yard line. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Here's the 11th play of the drive. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Got a receiver and he dropped it. Terrific coverage. And when you clog up passing lanes like that, you could force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. 
They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. It's up, and the field goal is good. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's take a look at what's happening in the top 25. The Wildcats have the perfect connection and a touchdown. The Wildcats have the lead by five. Early moments of the fourth quarter. All right, Reese, back to our game. Buckley has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he hits him hard at the 34. That's a deal. First down. He's got an opening. And down he goes at about the 49. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 17-3, LSU. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. It's second and ten. Ball on the 49. Tries to buy some time. Brought down at right around the 48-yard line. <laughs> On the throw, incomplete pass. <laughs> Looks like they've decided to go for it here. He's got it with room to run, and he is drilled at the 40-yard line. You know, if there's one thing I learned in this game, it's to never count a team out. There's still enough time on his clock for these guys to come back and win this game. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds around the 19-yard line. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. They'll make the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the pass into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. He's in trouble. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled around the two-yard line. That brings him second and goal. And he's going to be sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. 
There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. This is the 13th play of this drive. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Update time from the top 25. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. The Cornhuskers continuing to pound the rock on the ground and score a touchdown. Mosley's arm is capable of dominating a game. And so far, he's been doing just that, having thrown for more than 200 yards. The Cornhuskers on top by three. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Kearney has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. A score here might effectively end this one. LSU is up by a touchdown. is out to the tailback on the screen. He'll bring him down at about the 31. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11. Ball on the 31. on that delay. The Bulldogs taking their first time out of the half. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Up the middle for a nice game. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. Pickup of five. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 47 yard line. Tackle at the 43. Just under two minutes in the game. And they lose a couple there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It's second and 11. Ball on the 45. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of four yards. Third down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Got an opening. 
And he's tackled around the 33-yard line. That makes it fourth and inches. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 17-10, LSU. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.